We will talk about the NAND gate implementations for various circuits. So we use NAND gates since uh, NAND gates are the, one of the building blocks of most of the circuits, particularly flash memories. So this is a NAND gate operation. We can also write this uh, the, if you implement the complementation A0 or B0. So if I wanted to get, let's say, a few functions that we want to implement, how, how can we get an AB using a NAND gate? So you would have say, the same operation, but then you would use another NAND gate, but short their inputs. So this would be like a NOT gate this way you would get your AB since this is going to be AB not. How about AB or CD? This is quite simple and you will notice that how natural that we'll be able to do this let's say we have a b and c d the outputs for these NAND gates is going to be a b not and c d not and this is let's see if what ha will happen if you put it into a another NAND gate so now you have a b not and C D not looks like I did a mistake here. I put the complement into the function. Okay. It's gonna be complemented. And if you just implement these complements your function is going to be a b or c d how about a little bit more complex implementation let's say we have a function like this when you see something like that you would first want to work on the parenthesis term that with an or since we did the or here then that means we can do it exactly what we did in the a b plus c d example so you would put your a b as one of your ga NAND gate but for the other one you wouldn't need another NAND gate for the other lit uh, term because it only has one one literal so then you would put a d prime here sorry d then you would have a b prime and d here and the function here is going to be a b or D not. So we did this part now and then you would need to implement this AND function. So in order to implement an AND function you can simply use a NAND gate and a NOT gate. So this part would be a b or d not and c not complemented but at the end because of the not gate you would have your real function your g